Hi everyone, Jonathan here again. Last video I went through configuring the X-Touch Mini MIDI interface to Lightroom via the MIDI 2 LR plugin. I'm going to today go through with you a little bit of how the MIDI controller can speed up your Lightroom workflow. So here I've got a just a small selection of images and I'm just going to go through quickly and uh, give you an idea of, of how it works. So we've got back and forth buttons that we can go through our images. Images and take us back. So we've got those where we're not needing to touch the controller. We also then have additional buttons for uh, tweaks that we can make. So we've got exposure, we've got contrast, We've got the blacks, so you can lighten or darken. We've got shadow, so you can have a look at shadow detail. Highlights, we can take up and down. Whites, clarity, just have a little bit of clarity. And, and angle, so I, if I need to sort of straighten the picture, I can do that just slightly using the button here within, and that makes it really quick. If I switch layers, I've got, if you remember I showed you about profiles, so we've got hue, luminance and saturation, so if I go to saturation, for example, I can dial down saturation on the green or, add, or dial it up, depending on the look that I'm going for and other colours, so we can set the blues up or the aquas, the blues, and see fairly quickly what change that makes to our image. Uh, you can see that the light changes to reflect the actual arrow and I can zero them with a double click which is very similar to double clicking with a mouse on this side. If I wanted to go through and copy the uh, the style, if so if the lighting is very similar in all of the images and I can simply copy go to my image, paste those settings, go to my next image, paste them, next image, and paste them. And that will paste those settings that I've already made, so we can see there the greens have changed on this one, and the changes, if I flip back through the images, the sliders are in the same place. I can obviously make additional tweaks, so for example in this one we may want to bring some shadows up and that will only affect that image, so I can just see the light changes on the control to represent the slider is. As I said, we've got um, controls here for the, the layer, you can see we can also change, we can increase rating, decrease rating, if we use flags we can colour code the images so it may be that you want to quickly go through and segregate the images all from the controller back and forth without too much interaction with the keyboard so it's really quick, really simple. That's it for today my next video is going to be a, a more in-depth editing video around probably a landscape image um, and I hope that you come back and watch that and enjoy these series and subscribe.